If you want to implement fancy cursor animation like this in your React application, I think this website is really help you a lot. It's called Cursorify. So let's go to the components tab here. And then as you can see on the cursor animation, there's a lot of option here, right? I'm going to click blob cursor, for example, as you can see, look incredible. If you go to bubble cursor, it's going to be look like this. If you go to glitch, for example, as you can see, nice. If I go to gradient, and then for example this character right it's too fancy i think and also let's go to tail right look amazing this is a 3d uh, text flex for example as you can see the hello world text follow along and then uh, yeah there's a lot of option and i'm not showing you how to implement this on Next.js application. So let's generate Next.js application. If you go to components and then installation, as you can see, this is the step that we need to follow along. First, we need to generate Next.js application. I'm going to give a name cursor animation here. And then let's just use TypeScript, Tailwind, and ASLint. Let's cd to cursor animation and open that on Visual Studio Code. In VS Code, we need to open terminal and then we need to install these three require dependency so let's copy that and paste that to terminal and hit enter after the installation done so let's go back and then we need to create file called cn.ts on the utils so let's go to the root here and i'm gonna paste the folder is utils and the file is cn.ts and then i just want to copy and paste all this content basically just like that and then we can just run npm run dev all right so now let's try to implement some animation so first i'm going to try to implement this blob cursor here right so let's scroll down and then yep we need to install this react spring slash web and then let's open another terminal here and just paste that right here so let's see what we have okay we get this error it's just because we're using react 19. you can fix that by install react 18 or 17 or 16 right here but now i just want to do with dash dash force this is also with fix that problem right great so after we install that we need to create uh, this component right here blob cursor so i'm gonna copy that name and create another component called another folder called components and inside this component folder let's create another folder called blob cursor and inside the blob cursor, I'm going to create a file called blob cursor.tsx. And also, I'm going to create another file here called blob cursor.css. So let's doing that like that. And then now we need to just copy and paste all this code right here, just like that. And also inside the CSS, also we need to just copy all this content and paste that to this CSS right here. Let's close that. And then as you can see, there's a couple error. This is basically just a type error. So you can fix that by say, for example, this Y and X and Y should be number, right? You can do number and for the Y, you can say also number. And also this ref here, it's a get bonding client react does not exist on type never. So we can just uh, add type here called HTML div element because as you can see, the ref is going to be based inside this div right here. But I believe it's still working, even we get some error for the type. So for the CSS here, we need to change that name to .blobcursor.css. Just make sure the name should be same with the name of the CSS right here. And then how to use that? It's super simple. Let's go to uh, wherever you want to import the blob cursor effect. For example, you want to implement that on the page right here can go on this component and component and just paste that blob cursor right here it just works just make sure you import on the top right here and then now i believe it just works uh yeah we need to change the blob cursor into client component because by default this is just server component so we can use client on the top right here and now it should be works as you can see we have this really nice blob animation cursor right here right amazing you can also change the color of this blob because as you can see right here on the blob color component we have props called blob type and also fill color so we can use this fill color to basically change the color so let's go to the 
page.dsx right here and let's send the fill color let's change the color for example to red color i'm gonna save and as you can see now we have red fill color right here super great so now let's try to do another cursor animation so i'm gonna select this rainbow cursor and then let's let's try to see how to implement this beautiful rainbow so first we need to create this rainbow cursor folder so let's go to components let's create a folder called rainbow rainbow cursor folder and inside the rainbow cursor i'm gonna create a file called rainbow cursor .tsx. all right so let's just copy all this content here and paste that like so and then of course we need to change this component to client because we're using use effect right here and use ref let's do use client save and then now let's try to import the rainbow into the page right here let's do rainbow cursor just make sure we import that and then i just want to comment this blob cursor for now let's take a look right here and as you can see it just works look at that how crazy is this super simple and of course you can select any cursor animation you want and you can implement that on your next yes application yeah i think that's it for this video hope this helpful and fun for you see you guys on the next video